Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Fats, and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. Your girl's back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about how to prep yourself for uni. I know most of y'all are going off to uni next month and September's around the corner. I know some of y'all are excited, some of y'all are scared, some of y'all are stressed out, some of y'all have got mixed feelings, some of y'all don't even know what to do with your lives. Hunty, don't worry, I might be a little help. So please carry on watching this video. One of the things you should do for prepping yourself for uni is make sure you're all prepped and ready few weeks before you're off to uni. I'm talking about buying essentials, so kitchen stuff, plates, pots, um, toiletries, cutleries, everything that you need for uni when it comes to using things in the kitchen and toilets. Make sure you're all set and ready the latest three weeks before you don't want to be all stressed out and all panicked last minute because you haven't got your things together now when i'm talking about buying kitchen things especially plates and pots make sure you buy it from a very good shop so i'm talking about like mns let me just tell you something i'm living on my own now and it's been two years i graduated uni three years ago okay I'm still using all my cutleries, my plates and pots since uni because the things that I used from five years ago, four years ago, I've still got them until now, okay? And they're really good. So I would advise if you want to buy kitchen stuff like plates, pots, cutleries, go and buy them at M&S because they last very long. I've still got things from M&S up until today. Another thing that you should know about prepping yourself for uni is make sure you've moved into your student accommodation few days before freshers. One thing because you don't know what kind of people you're going to be living with, okay? You don't know what kind of animals you're going to be living with. You need to make sure that you've got a shelf for your food in the fridge and the freezer. You need to make sure you've got a cupboard for you as well in the flat. You don't want to walk in to your flat of your student accommodation and you don't even have a cupboard, okay, in the kitchen. Or you don't even have a shelf in the, you don't even have a shelf to put all your food in the fridge or freezer. You don't want that happening. You need to make sure that you have room for everything. You want to know what your flat looks like before everyone starts to move in. And it's very unpredictable. You don't know what kind of bums, animals, or what type of people you're going to be living with. So you need to make sure you're there, stand by, like, hello, <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> hi. <laughs> make sure that your mini food shop, when you're about to move into your accommodation, is all set and ready. Listen, you don't want to move into your accommodation and you don't even have no food. You need to make sure that you've got something with you, like, just to prep yourself when you move into your flat because your student finance money don't drop till like 20th, 24th of September. It might even be later. You need to make sure everything's ready so when you walk into the kitchen you can just cook and go about your business. For some of you, you might be lucky that your parents might, you know, make something special for you, you know, meal prep food for you for when you move in so make sure you've got something ready make sure you've got something for breakfast for the week something for lunch for the week you know just until your student finance money drops because you know student finance they can be a bit unpredictable they might even drop your money a little bit later i'm talking about beginning of october mid of october end of october even december for some of you but i was lucky enough that my student finance money dropped in september but just be prepared and ready the next thing you should be prepping yourself for when you go to uni is I know most of y'all are so excited and are ready to turn it up at uni but just know, make sure you balance yourself between your studying life at uni and your partying life at uni because some people they just get all that mixed up and then they, they just they just mess it all up. It's a hot mess. This it's just 
a mad mess and then they start panicking some people start dropping out of their courses some people become unmotivated with their course and some people they just do the most so you need to make sure that you have a balance between your studying life at uni and your partying life at uni I know it gets a bit too mad and exciting when you see those leaflets of student nights and this person is coming to your uni, this person, this this artist is coming to your um, uni, this artist is coming to your uni, you want to turn all the way up, yes hunty, that's amazing, it's nice, but when it comes to deadlines and when it comes to exams, those are the times where you shouldn't really be doing that much partying, unless if you know how to balance it out, but I'm not saying that you shouldn't be turning up, do it, trust me, turn all the way up. Just make sure you have a balance between your partying life and your studying life because you don't want to mix all that together. Period. I know for some of you, you guys are really like scared and you're really nervous because it's a different environment. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what your lectures are going to be like. Trust me, the first week is going to be all over the place. But once you get the hang of it, honestly, you are going to love it, you are going to enjoy it, just take your time, take it slow, don't be afraid to get to know people, get to know your cause, get to know people, don't be afraid to make new friends at uni, don't be afraid to make new friends at your accommodation, be sociable, those three years are gonna go by just like that, so make the most of it, because you're gonna meet different types of people, you might be at a place that is very multicultural, don't be afraid to make friends. Make sure you meal prep your food every week, you know, spice it up, okay, because you will save a lot of money if you meal prep your food. That's the one thing that I made a mistake. I never meal prepped my food and I ate junk all the time. So make sure you meal prep your food, you know, spice it up. One day I want to have rice, another day I want to have chicken and veg, another day I want to have salmon and salad, another day I want to have pasta, and then in the weekends you can, you know, have a cheat meal and eat whatever you want. But I tell you this now, meal prepping your food will save you a lot of money. Do it. Okay? Okay? Because once that student finance money drops, when you see that figure in your account, you'll be like, oh, Arab money. But when that money goes away, it won't be Arab money anymore. But please make sure you label everything that's yours from the kitchen. Because people have a tendency to be borrowing your things without asking. And then you find out later on that somebody's used them. But in my case, we, you know, me and my people, my flatmates, we had an understanding that if you want something, you ask for it or you let me know that you've borrowed something because that's how it should be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and I shall see you guys on my next video.